everybody. It's uh, time to share my latest design team project with you. Um, this was for Artie Mays and this is the Fox Glove Bliss Kit um, in her shop. Uh, it's I made um, a little envelope um, notepad recently using the kit but I knew I had to make a journal with it because it is just beautiful. Um, Again, I, you know, I can't say enough about Artie Mae's designs. They are just gorgeous. So this one was constructed with um, an envelope that I've altered, and I've reinforced the spine with some muslin, and I, I've come over. Um, there's collaging with old music paper, vintage book pages, and then the images. And then on top of that, I've come back with um, beeswax. So that gives it a really nice um, vintage look to it. Um, so I've got the journal on there. <coughs> Closure, I've just taken some muslin and stitched it. This is two signatures. Um, so it's a pretty big, chunky journal. And I'll just go through it here with you. So we've got um, some handmade tags and journal cards. And this is one of the images from the kit. I love that so much. So I just made a little um, little tag with that and then there's just various bits of ephemera in here. This this from the kit. Um, butterflies here. Dimensional. You know I like to have those in the journal. Love this page. Of course it's got to have the bumblebee. Um, this is one of the journal cards that comes in the kit and these tickets. So I've made a little tuck spot there and then this will flip over. And here I've got another large tag from the kit. So there is a lot of space for you to write in this journal. Um, I'll put that back later. Um, and this is, oh yeah, these are the lined papers that come. She always gives you background papers, which is nice. Um, so I've been got that in there. Um, tea dyed papers. I've done some punching. Love that page. And then here, this is um, an um, Yvonne inspired uh, little pocket. Um, and I believe she said she got this from Terry. I believe that's who it was. But I, I saw uh, Yvonne using this and I wanted to, um, I'd, I'd use this some time back, but gosh, it's so, this is why I've got to get on the ball with this inspiration journal, because um, I forget. And so I recently watched a video of hers, and I said, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get that back out. Make one for myself and put it in my inspiration journal, but you know, I have all these big plans. So here I've got a little fabric tag, uh, tab there and then this is just a little tag that I've attached with some muslin so that just is being held over the page with a little paper clip and then uh, here I've added another little um, journal card that's from my stash. thought it went nicely with that. Some old book page, some more little writing paper, some craft paper. Now this is a tuck spot. Um, I haven't put anything behind it because the journal was getting really bulky. Um, and then here I've just made a couple of little journal cards that I've tucked in these little pockets. images on her this this kit well I like all our every kit I work with um, from Andre is just beautiful 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 here I've got uh, another tag just collaged bits and pieces left over from the um, pages that I was working with and then this is another of the journal cards in the kit and then this is an envelope with a little 
<clears throat> a little notepad so you can do some writing. It's got the line down the back. And of course the bee. Just it's such a beautiful image. So that's tucked in there. These are some of the tickets from there. And then this is um, some leftover paper I've done some ruffles with. And then some old notebook paper. Here I've just made um, some more little flip out writing. And I've done that on the front and the back. And uh, that's on backed onto some uh, old music sheet. Some tracing paper I tea dyed. Another handmade <coughs> tag, and then this flips out so you can have some secret writing there as well. And then here, these flip open. I've got a couple butterflies in each of the signatures. Um, not sure how many pages. I, I haven't counted them. Um, here, I've done a collage on the edge of that and beautiful background papers. So you can see there's still a lot of room that if you want to add more embellishments to this, you could. Um, another journal card from the um, kit. And then this is just a tag within a tag. Stamped that with a dragonfly. And so you can see that. And then another tag's tucked in here. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful butterflies. I, uh, I, I did put a lot of butterflies in this journal um, because she gives you quite a few. Here's one of the little, um, I've got a tutorial for, for making those little altered paper clips. And then this comes out and you can do some writing. So um, here is an altered paper clip. And this is a freebie from uh, Nick the Booksmith. She gives you those on her link and then here I've got a floating um, you know I look up those thousand window pocket uh, window envelopes <laughs> I'm still plucking away at them I think I'm down about 20 <laughs> um, here's a journal card I've made I'll tuck that in there so I made this one so you could move it throughout the journal and then in the back this is another one of the um, elements you get in the kit and then I also made another little tag here, so you can write on the back of that. I just, I love the tabs. I wanted the, to see those peeking out. <clears throat> and then here, I just added those. Isn't that beautiful? So that's just another little place that you can do some, some more writing. And then on this page, I've got a handmade tag there, collaging some of the um, pages, and I've done some stamping on it. And then that flips over. And then here you've got a nice long uh, tag, so you could you could write here. I love how this journal has come out. It's just uh, such a beautiful kit to work with. Look at this. So here I've got another little tag that I've stamped. And then this flips over. And this is just full of bits and pieces um, from my stash. And this is one of the Tim Holtz um, stitch slots is what I think. I've been calling that a photo die. And I finally looked it up. And it's the stitch slots. Um, die. And then here is one of the big envelopes that she gives you. So I could just get that um, clipped to that page. And then this is another little fabric uh, tab that I made. This is a little tuck spot here <clears throat> using elements from the kit. So that just well, it's a paper clip, sorry, it's not a tuck spot. And then here I've got another, this is another of the uh, tags that she includes in the kit. It's a big kit. This is my favorite of the background papers. It's, it's a chocolate, oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I've done some more of my vintage buttons here 
on that little collaging. And then this is just another little um, interest to the edge of the paper and more of the butterflies that she's included. And then here I've, I've taken a, a round doily and I backed it with some baking paper that I had tea dyed. And so that's made a nice pocket there. And then that little journal card's got another little um, tuck spot. And just an extra bit, <clears throat> bit of paper that I had left over, so that's tucked in. This is um, not in this kit, but Artie Mays has these um, vintage postcards, and I love to use these as little flips. So you've got another little journal card in there, and then a couple other tags and journal um, journal card there. <clears throat> center of that signature again the little cut out butterflies some more fabric ruffle and another of the journal cards from the kit I just stitched around that I really like how those pockets came out that's the first time I've done them like that oh I love this page you showed I've showed this on Instagram and I'm crazy how this came out I've just made a really big <coughs> journal card and then there's some acetate with an image behind, but I think it's come out really pretty. And then I've left it blank so you can journal on the back. And then here I've got a big, these are the uh, large tickets, uh, tags that you get, and I've kept them together so that it's like a trifold. and then I just took an image from my stash and put on that. So that's tucked behind here. Again, some more, uh, it's like a snippet tag that I've made with some old uh, vintage trim that flips open. And then inside here, I've got another of the beautiful journal cards that comes within this kit. I'll put the link below to um, this kit so that if you want to purchase that, you can follow the link and it'll take you straight to it. Here I've got another little, um, it's an altered glass scene, and then I've just included a little um, tag there. Did some collaging there, I love how that's come out. And uh, here's another little tuck spot with another of the um, journal cards that comes in the kit. And another tag. Um, and like I said, you get a lot of these butterflies, so I wanted to make another tuck spot on this page. And this is avocado dyed paper. I thought it went nice with it. Um, here I've made some, I've collaged this belly band, and then I tucked, this is from uh, Artie Mae's shop, and these are her little um, vintage postcards. I love those. Some more fabric. Um, not a ruffle, but you know, just like an edge. Um, I forgot. I've got to do a journal card for this. I'm so sorry. I had this pinned and somehow it's come out. I thought this was complete. There will be a journal card included in this. This is one of those seed packets. I, um, I was gifted from uh, Cheryl and, um, and then my daughter put some back for me and I picked those up when I uh, went back so there will be a beautiful journal card peeking through on that page. Um, and then here is another little tuck spot. I've just taken the three banners and just collaged some things and the butterfly on it. And then this is the large um, pocket with the uh, tag that you get. I just think that is just so pretty. Did some stitching around it. And then this is an altered um, Project Live card. So you can see, I just took some of the images, cut them down and stitched around it. And there's just various little tags and journal cards in there. So that's just attached here. And then the back is another little glassine envelope. So you can add some things there. I've stamped on some muslin and attached that. And then on the very back, I've made a, an envelope so that tucks in there so you can add some more items. 
And then that is the back of the journal. Oh, she feels beautiful. Um, this is the fox glove. But she is not for sale. She is in anticipation <laughs> of reaching 10,000 subscribers, which I'm absolutely blown away by. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Um, this is just a little um, token of my appreciation um, for all of you sticking with me. I know I haven't always been consistent on my videos, but I have tried to share um, you know, some, some ideas with you guys, and uh, I do appreciate you more than I could ever express. So this is going to be um, my giveaway, and as many ladies have done, and I mentioned this in a uh, couple months back, that this is what I wanted to do in this giveaway, um, I am going to ask that you... Um, participate in my creating a friendship journal. I've been wanting, um, you know, I just, I can't afford to buy a journal from all of the people that I admire. Um, I wish I could, I really, really do. But I'm hoping that, that some of them um, will want to participate in this so that I can have a little bit of them in my journal because I'm so excited. I just, I, I joined uh, Shar Fisher's, for, that's the first one I've ever done, and um, it, it was just amazing. And then Artie Mays asked that we send something, um, so I sent her something. Um, so now I'm asking, you know, that I hope that you guys will want to, to do the same for me. Um, it's, again, it if you're... UK, European, A4, if you're in the U.S. or I guess Canada would be, I don't know, what do Canadians call their paper size U.S. letter? I don't know. That's, answer that if you're a Canadian. <laughs> I never thought about it before, but whatever is uh, the norm for you, um, I'm asking that you would make I, um, a page to go in, in my friendship journal. Uh, I have not designed the cover for that yet. Um, Obviously, it'll depend on how many people um, enter. And once you've entered, you know, then you, you'll go in for the, the draw for this journal. And I'll also be including, you know, what the leftover um, ephemera that I've got because I did print this out like two times. So there's, there's still some things to send. I can send along with that. But um, that is going to be the giveaway and the requirement again is is you just fold it in half and decorate the four sides so that I can sew that into um, to my friendship journal um, to and to enter you need you know you'll need my address but I'm not going to put that out so I'm going to in the description box if you're on any of the Facebook or, you know, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you can contact me that way. But if you're not a friend on Facebook, I probably will not see those messages because a lot of times those just don't come through. So email me at the email listed in the description box, and then I will give you the address to where you can send your entry. And I'm going to leave this open um, April 1st. Yeah. April 1st I'll, I'll, um, will be the deadline. So I really hope <laughs> that I'll, I'll have um, some people interested in this. And I just cannot thank you guys enough. I, I just can't believe I'm, I'm you know, doing a journal for, the, for this many subscribers. Um, and it's just meant a lot to me. You know, as I've said to you time and time again, journaling is... I've just made so many amazing friends from this community. I've, um, sorry, let me get this other light on. And it's just, I don't know, I can't put into words what it's meant to me. <clears throat> so thank you all so very, very much. Um, if you've got any other questions, 
just email me and I'll try to clarify anything I might have left out. Um, but yeah, uh, that is my design team project for Artie Mays and this is the um, giveaway journal. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I will be back very soon, hopefully, with some more journals. It's all going very slow at the moment, but little by little I'm getting back into the groove. So um, you guys have a great rest of the week and I'll see you very soon. Bye.